So it is time once again to enter the world of Warcraft. And as soon as we enter, we're getting attacked by a flesh ripper over in Westfall. So sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, we were going to uh, turn in some quests and stuff. So let's go do that right now. some attention from that coyote back there but uh we outran him i think oh wait a minute nope 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 he's he's gone good doggy need help all right so this guy uh, is where we left off and uh he has some quests for us to pick up be careful so we'll narrate that out for you right now. Ooh. Let's try that again. Huh. Doesn't seem to be working. Alright, so I just read it out. I'm having a little technical difficulties. I don't know why that is. Okay, so it says it's it's been many years since anyone has offered to lend us aid, Latchkey. You have, had you not come along, we might not have made it through the coming winter. You have proven yourself to be a selfless individual, a person that we can trust. I only wish we had something of value to offer you. While I have no information to assist you in your crusade to bring the Furlborough's murderer to justice perhaps my wife can help speak to Salma inside and she will tell you what you need to know before you leave okay so we gotta go speak to his wife Salma light bless you and just like that, she's got something to offer us in the form of answering our quests. Hello. Safe travels. And we got that part of the quest line done. Crime scene investigation. And she says, hope for our hope for the people. About four years ago. Let's see if I can get my narrator going again. I missed that. Hope for the people. There we go. About four years ago, in the dead of the night, a little girl walked right into our farmhouse and collapsed on the floor. Nobody had a clue as to her identity. The poor little thing had no recollection of who she was or where she came from, truly a lost soul. Soon after, we adopted the little girl and named her Hope, for that is what she represented. She is now a young lady, caring for the destitute and homeless of Westfall. Take my Westfall stew to her at Sentinel Hill, south of here. Take the Westfall stew to Hope Saldian at Sentinel Hill. Be careful. Okay, so now we're going over to the mighty Sentinel Hill. It is like the major outpost for Westfall. And, uh... <laughs> We'll take the path of least resistance as usual. We'll stick to the road. There is Sentinel Hill just off in the distance. We are almost there. Along this curvy, windy road. And we discover Sentinel Hill. So I think we came in from the back side of it. And we have a flight path in Sentinel Hill. 
We'll go ahead and pick that up now. Ooh, there's a lot of people out today questing in Sentinel Hill. So. Here, lady, I was told to give you some of this here Westfall stew. Looks delicious. And now she has a quest. Feeding the hungry and the hopeless. Yes, I heard about the Furlbrow murders. It is very tragic, but such tragedy is a way of life in Westfall. There are many people here who simply no longer have the means or inclination to keep themselves fed. They have given up hope. Do you understand what it means to be left so hopeless as to stop caring about life? We must work together to show them that there is hope. That with the dawning day a better life comes. Take my mother's Westfall stew and help feed the homeless around Sentinel Hill. Use the Westfall stew to feed 20 homeless people around Sentinel Hill in Westfall. And now, among Noel and Murloc and Trog Slayer, I now take on the title of Feeding the Homeless. <laughs> Light be with you. Is Latchkey a good Samaritan or what? And then uh, we got this guy here, Scout Gillian. He has a quest for us that we'll narrate out now. The Legend of Captain Grayson. Have you heard of Captain Grayson? Mm -mm. Some say that he's the figment of a drunken sailor's imagination. Greetings. But anyone in Westfall will tell you that Grayson is real. He's a ghost that haunts the Westfall lighthouse far to the west, off the coast of the Longshore. Do you dare investigate? Find Captain Grayson at the Westfall lighthouse in Westfall. Yes, I dare investigate. That sounds right up my alley. But I'll go do that if you want to go feed them homeless people. Go with honor, friend. I guess I have to do it all. Ooh, this guy looks very important. King's honor, friend. Marshal Grayan. Stout mantle. Uh, I guess this guy is important. It's like a For the alliance. Ooh, Sentinel Hill Vest. It offers some upgrade. Let's uh, read and narrate out what we got to do for this uh, prestigious vest, the Sentinel Hill Vest. In defense of Westfall, after my tour of duty was over in Grizzly Hills, I returned to Westfall, only to find the land in worse condition than when I left. The price of our war left thousands of citizens homeless. They now migrate here and squat upon the deserted farmhouses and towns of the region. To make matters worse, we are now under attack by the Knolls. The Westfall Brigade needs your help, Latchkey. Slay the attacking Knolls. Uh oh. What happened? Something happened. Alright, we'll just accept that one. We get the gist. What can I do for you? Wants us to kill Knolls. Go with honor, friend. Light bless you. Stop them from attacking. And they are attacking out the front of this place from memory. Greetings. Oh, he's got two quests. Captain Donovan. Or Donovan. Yeah, Captain Donovan. Quest number See one. You around. The Westfall Brigade. We were once known as the People's Militia. These days, though, we fight under the banner of Stormwind, with the full support of King Anju and Rin. Our goals here in Westfall are many, to clean up the mess left behind by the Defias, to expand the reach of the Alliance and to maintain order. So far we are failing on all fronts. Times are worse now than when the Defias ran amok. Now with the indigenous knolls of the region up in arms, we find ourselves backed into a corner. Help us! Latchkey. Slay any 12 river panoles attacking Sentinel Hill. 
Be careful. Gladly. A hero's called a Red Ridge, Red Ridge Mountain. Uh, that is something we will come back and accept when we get done with the other quests because uh, have a good one that is going to be another area it will where it'll be the place we'll be going next after we get done with everything we got to do here in Westfall oh there's some now <laughs> Just stop it. Knolls everywhere. They're just attacking the good folks of Sentinel Hill. This is a travesty. Two of them to fight one knoll. Till I come along, and then they die. Oh, we've been looking for those orders. That completes one of the quests. Yes, done and done. any kind of upgrade to me? It is. It is. It's like a it's like a beer mug. Cool. Got me a beer mug. Am I wearing it on my back? I am not. It won't let me wear it on my back. Oh well. I like having the help of the townsfolk. One more. And then you guys are on your own. I gotta go feed the homeless now. Okay. Like I said, we gotta go feed the homeless. They're on the outside of this place. Uh A gnome's work is never done, I guess. Good luck with his nose. This looks like a cool place to camp out. I like that. Well, fire going. Nice table. Couple tents. No one around. I can just claim this place. Oh, here's those homeless people. Alright, homeless people. 
Y'all need to quit and eat some of this stew. Here. Mmm. Good stew. Good. Yeah, see how much better that is? Come on now. Stew time. Jump in. That takes care of Tino. You guys want some of this here stew? Uh, oh, yeah, you do. You want some? These guys are already fed. Okay. Just a couple more. Come and get it. One. Really? Just one? We're going to do this one at a time? Get up, meet you, Stu. Gosh. Okay, so. That's it. Just like that, we are done. Now it's time to go turn in these quests. And pick up some more. I'll just go ahead and pick up the Red Ridge, the Red Ridge quest line. Just keep it in mind for later when we go to Red Ridge. The Red Ridge Mountains. the people for you. Looking for something specific? Safe travels. Alright, buddy. Well met. We were looking forward to our new vest. Be careful. Let's hope it upgrades to a rare or an epic. For the Alliance. Go with honor, friend. It did not. But it is an upgrade nonetheless. So we will put it on with pride. And uh, he has another quest for us. Find an agent. Life bless you. Karninen? Karen? Something. We'll find Karen for you. Let's see. Narrate it out. Find Agent Kiernan. Kiernan. SI. Seven has been tracking Helix Gear Breaker since he entered Alliance territory two weeks ago. The letter I received from Matthias Shaw explained that he sent an agent by the name of Kiernan to Westfall to shadow Helix. Find Agent Kiernan and you'll find Helix Gear Breaker. Kiernan came into town for supplies two days ago. She mentioned that she would be near Mortwake's Tower, southeast of here, on the Dust Plains. Get going, Latchkey. Find it for the Alliance. We got it, we will find her. Hey there. Turn in the West Father. See you Kay. later. For the Alliance. He has another quest for us besides the Red Ridge. Django Spot Hide. South of here is an area of Westfall known as the Dust Plains. From what we know the knolls of the region have made the Dust Plains their unofficial capital. As with any capital, there exists a leader at the heart. If we are to put an end to these attacks, we must track down the knoll in charge and end him. Venture forth into the Dust Plains, Find the Knoll leader, Django Spothide, and kill him. Take out any other Knolls that get in your way. Slay five Riverpaw Mystics, five Riverpaw Taskmasters, and Django Spothide. Have a good one. See you later. Yeah. The Alliance. Okay, we'll come back after the Red Ridge Mountains. Once again. We'll leave it alone for now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ah, what the hey, we'll go ahead and pick it up. It's hanging over my head. I don't like that. Can I help you? Be careful. Heroes call, Redridge Mountains. While the situation here is dire, other parts of the region are literally quaking from the great upheaval. I have here a report from Watch Captain Parker of Redridge Mountains, one of our territories east of Elwyn Forest. He is asking for a hero to come to their aid. We are spread so thin here that I don't know how we can afford to send any more military. Would you check on Parker and see what he needs? Round. What can I do for you? Have a good one. So we'll accept that and we will uh, continue the quest after a brief intermission. Alright, so I am back to continue my quest line. We left off here, picked up the quest, and now we are continuing with Django Spyhide. He is about 400 yards away in that direction over there, heading toward the Yellow Diamond. We are. They give us good coordinates to where we need to go, don't they? <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, discovered the dust plains. Doesn't look very dusty to me though. I like the look of it. There is Darkshire. The dark and scary forest in the background. Where these greener trees are. We'll be heading into that scary zone in the next few days. Even the wild boars are bigger, blacker, darker in the dust plains. One ran away from us. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. If he was smart, he would have stayed gone. He didn't know who he was dealing with. And who he was dealing with was Latchkey the blue haired gnome. Looking for this Django spot high, but I'm also looking for rare spawns in the area as well. We're getting closer to him. We're taking out all his minions along the way.
one by one they fall. I'm coming for you, Spothead. I am coming for you. Get ready. Probably heavily guarded by all of these other river pawn clansmen of his. <laughs> there he is. In the ruins. Someone's attacking him. I'm gonna ruin their fun by touching death. Sorry, take a little bit of your thunder away from you there, buddy. But I was here first. I need the mystics now. We want to make sure we get the mystics down. I think I'm still experiencing a problem with the game sound. I'm going to have to check out once again in a second. Let me get to a safer place. My last mystic there. <laughs> this job is done. So we're on the edge, and over there is Duskwood, folks. Oh, there's a coyote over there that can attack me. I'm looking for a safe place to park, check out my sound settings real quick. And uh, <laughs> there's the agent we're looking for. One second. All right, sorry about the delays here. What can I do for you? All right, so we are sent here to turn in this quest. Safe travels. And uh, we'll narrate it out. Secrets of the Tower. Helix has got himself holed up inside Clavin Mortwake's old tower. I won't lie to you, Latchkey, it's heavily guarded. I count six armed mercenaries just on the outside. There's no way you're getting inside that tower by yourself. Oh, we're going in there. Lucky for you, Claire and I are here. Kiernan pats her sniper rifle. I'll cover your entry. Take this shrouding potion, you'll need it once you get inside. Use it as soon as you enter the tower and head upstairs. Find out what Helix is hiding up there. Enter Mortwake's tower and find Helix Gear Breaker. Be careful. Alright, so I 
gotta use that potion once I'm inside. Need to be in the tower to use it. So, alright, I'm coming in, fellas. Oh, I said I'm coming in. Oh, they are. A little, they are a little tough. Wow, they're very tough. Come on, sniper lady. Take them out. We're marching straight in. Fort Wake's tower. We are in sack. Can we use the potion now? Oh yeah. I'm not sure what it done. It done something. We'll head up. We got ten minutes. Potion only lasts ten minutes. This stuff tastes terrible. I don't want to drink it again, so we gotta make this snappy. Some more. Some more. Okay, we are here. What now? What now? Oh, there's something. Do we talk to him? Oh, okay, he's doing his own thing. We'll just sit here and watch. Oh, that's the two shadowy figures we've seen in the mine. The ogre. And there's one of those uh, trolls on his back. Trolls. So, uh... Do we interrupt their conversation? What do we do here? Do we just watch it? Okay, the, the quest is complete. Now what? I guess we return. That's what it says to do. We'll just take a little shortcut jump here. And another shortcut jump. Make this go a little faster. And, uh. Ooh, that's a long fall. Can we jump that? Oh, yeah. I think we're good here. Alright. Here I come. I'm coming back. Pretty handy with that sniper rifle. Let me fix my camera a little bit. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Well met. Get the plate out of my way where I ate my breakfast hot pocket. <laughs> See you around. And of course she has another quest for me. Big trouble in Moonbrook. I'll be filling out my report and heading back to Stormwind shortly. SI-7 must be informed of the happenings in Westfall. I would recommend you do the same and report back to Gryan. Report your findings to Marshal Gryan Stoutmental at Sentinel Hill in Westfall. Farewell. Guess it, it is time now to report back. I'm pretty sure there's a rare spawn out there somewhere. We will go find him before we leave Westfall. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We may just take a day and explore all these areas and go look for the rare spawns. I don't want to deal with no vulture right now. Oops. 
Alright, I'm on a mission. They're still wanting their Westfall stew. <laughs> I give them all a head. I give them all a head. Can't give them, you know. Can't just feed them all the time. They're going to learn to, you know. There's a lot of boars out there. They can go. There's plenty of stuff to go, go eat around here. Life be with you. Life bless you. So, these gloves do nothing to upgrade us at all. Maybe they'll change. Be careful. They did not. Go with honor, friend. Now we have Moonbrook. To Moonbrook. We have had a camp near Moonbrook for quite some time now, Latchkey. One of my best soldiers works the area along with a company of Sentinel Hill troopers. Report to Captain Alpert now and find out if he has any news about the happenings in Moonbrook. Another ally of mine is also at the Moonbrook camp. His name is Thoralius. I met Thoralius in Northrend during my time in Valgard. He is a wise and powerful shaman. Perhaps his abilities could help us solve this mystery. Report to Captain Alpert at Moonbrook in Westfall. Point Alliance. Oh, no. King's honor, friend. Why didn't he accept it? Light bless you. Be careful. There we go. Now we got Greetings. another turn in. We get some leggings. They are definitely not an upgrade to us. But you know, we'll uh, take the chance. Maybe they'll upgrade themselves. See you around. They did not. All right. I forgot, earlier there's an inn here, which uh, we will not be using this inn. Uh, just because we're still set at the logging camp in the Elwyn Forest and that'll be closer to Red Ridge. But I did want to make a, make a note of it. We discovered Steel Dale's Pond. We are in Knoll territory. That's the pond. It's kind of deep. Nothing down there. Now we've discovered Moonbrook itself, and there is a flight path to Moonbrook. You just get her all around Westfall. Flying to different places. What can I do for you? I was sent to report to you. For the Alliance. Propaganda. Propaganda. We've noticed a rise in violent acts amongst the homeless of the area. Something or someone is getting them all riled up. Now whoever is behind all this is getting more organized. Just recently a group of thugs came through here handing out pamphlets. Enter Moonbrook and look for evidence. Propaganda, leaflets, whatever bring whatever you find back to me maybe we can find the source through the writings recover an informational pamphlet secret journal 
an issue of the Moonbrook Times and Mysterious Propaganda. Go with honor, friend. Propaganda. All I see is propaganda. <laughs> okay, so we're going to investigate the propaganda in here. Moonbrook looks vaguely disturbing. Ah! It kind of jump scared me there. Ooh, we get a quest red bandana. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to accept that. Evidence collection. The material of this bandana is identical to the material found at the Furlbrow murder scene. You should collect more red bandanas as evidence and return what you find to Captain Albert. Collect six red bandanas. Alright, we'll do it. Oh, there's some evidence back there. <laughs> I'm coming after that evidence. And I'll take that red bandana, sir. <laughs> Ooh. I'll take this. Okay, so. I don't see any more evidence in this room. Or this one. Or this one. They're desperate and out to stop me. That is obvious. Nothing but homeless people in here. These houses, you know, they, they, they need some work. They need to be fixed. They look good on the outside. Just the interior needs some work. Ooh, propaganda. More masks. More propaganda. We got one more. I'm willing to bet it's not in here. We'll check out the situation just to be on be on the sure side. I doubt it is though. Any propaganda in here? Ooh. They have really destroyed the homes around here. Possibly the remains of an old inn. What did you do with this happening place? I'm here for your mask and your propaganda. There could be. Okay. I found your propaganda. Not hide from me. Yeah. Mission complete. Fool, I need to go sell some stuff and such. But for now, we're getting out of here. We have done our work. 
completed our mission successfully. all the evidence for the Alliance. Here's the red mask. Be I careful. Uh, just uh, two critical strike is not much of an upgrade for me compared to the other stats that would go down. So, Light bless you. Uh oh, that might change some things. Go with honor, friend. Be careful. So the pressures that we received upgraded to rare. So maybe they will be an upgrade. We'll find out in just a second. First, let's narrate out this new quest. The dawning of a new day. It looks like the meeting the shadowy figure spoke of is starting soon. The homeless are starting to mobilize. I need you to attend the rally and gather information, Latchkey. Go to the center of Moonbrook and listen in on the rally. Return to me with whatever you find out. Gather information from the Moonbrook rally. We will do it. For the Alliance. Now let's uh, check out those bracers that we received. They upgraded to a rare item level. And they still offer... No upgrade over the uh, epic that I have, except for the three critical strike. Uh, we'll keep what we got. Unfortunate. Unfortunately, it's not that big of an upgrade to worry about. We're at the rally here. Let me blend in. There's that shadowy figure. That's that sorceress chick that I've been following around all of Westfall. Our king sits atop his throne made of gold and she's trying to Rally the crowd against you, yeah, yeah, yeah. The king of Stormwind. His words, not ours. I wish I could narrate all that out. But basically, she's trying to incite a, 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 a insurrection here. <laughs> the government of Stormwind Alliance must be made accountable. Today, we are reborn. Today, we take stand, men and women, nonetheless fearless in numbers. And the crowd goes wild for I will not stand for this mockery of justice. Boy, I found out some information, man. You're gonna be, you're gonna be mad. You're gonna be really ready to go take down this entire crap. We, we gotta take them out. I'll help you though. I'll help you. Need help? Go with honor, friend. We got an achievement in progress. Light bless you. Uh oh, I should have read that out. Sorry, I did not. It's just sending us to talk to someone else about what we just witnessed. So that's what we'll do here. Warm wishes to you. It's a Drana. Be kind to those less fortunate. Visions of the past. We will definitely narrate this one out. A vision of the past. This incense will put your body and mind in a deep meditative state. 
Once the trance begins you will be pulled into the spirit world. Do not fight the trance once it has begun, Latchkey. Allow the spirits to show you what they know. You must leave now. Go to the dead mines, a place which I am told holds great significance in the history of Westfall. Once inside, use the incense. You may enter the dead mines through the old farmhouse south of here. Follow the homeless. Return to Gryan with your discovery. Enter the Defias hideout and follow the trail of homeless to the Dead Mines dungeon. Enter the Dead Mines dungeon and use the incense burner to see into the past. Dionys Haka. The Dead Mines is a dungeon. We are only at level 10, so uh oh. <laughs> I got all those from you guys, thank you very much. But I will take the copy. Oh my god! Dead mines. Ooh. A shield. Cool. I'm gonna have to do a warrior character next, huh? A gnome warrior? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like it's got me written all over it. Collect some shields and stuff. Alright. Now. If I can just remember how to get... Navigate back to the dead mine that's... Kind of trickery. It's like a secret passage within this. Within this. Yeah, there we go. The dead mines. Definitely in the mine now. Maybe I should have set my hearth <laughs> back there at Westfall. Okay, I'm I'm in a maze. I'm in a maze. This is the way it says to go. There's the dungeon itself. Oh, y'all, we're going to take a glimpse into the past. Maybe? Did I do something wrong? The foreman. If we're to find out what's going on down here it looks like we're going to have to fight our way through the entire dead mines. Glubtok the foreman will be the first major foe you encounter, a powerful ogre magi. Be careful, he possesses the brute strength of his race backed by his wicked spell casting. Take this communicator so that I can keep in touch with you as we continue our investigation. 
Be careful down there. Kill Glubtok. Be careful. I don't know if I should be in here by myself. This is kind of like a group thing, isn't it? I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can... I don't think I can solo this, folks. Oh, they're level 8. Maybe if I take my time. So much. That guy's, that guy's kinda tough, and I doubt I'll be able to take on these bosses by myself for sure. We'll find out though. We'll find out. Is this something I have to complete as a dungeon? I don't know. Wearing the Nomergon Tavern, my reputation is increasing with Nomergon as we speak. My touch of death still on cooldown. I think I'm going to pick out a little rat. kill our way to the boat. Let's see what that does. Let's just go this way. I are, I are scared, don't get me wrong, I are. That's tough. We gotta take out the kobolds first. There's a lot of them.
out, I'm sure we can get the other. Alright, heal time. Heal boy, heal. Destroy you. That was intense. Now, the boss, that's going to be a different story, folks. I don't know if I can do it. If I can't. I may have to queue for this dungeon to get this quest done. Gluka shows the power of the king. Oh yeah, he's, right. he's definitely, definitely kicking my butt. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, you could go help me kill that guy. <laughs> that'd be a big, that'd be a big help. He hurt me bad. He hurt me real bad. Is there anything in here that'll help me? See you later. Uh, this is damaging to my health. We out of here. We got to do this a different way. Oh, <laughs> I went about that totally the wrong way. I was supposed to use this. Oops. I had to use it in the dead line. It messed me up a bit. Oh. <coughs> so, now that I'm back inside, where is that potion they give me? 
There it is. Let's use it inside of here. Okay. Whew, boy. <laughs> I didn't have to go through all that after all. Uh, but, you know, it was fun to see how far I could get. This is a vision of the past. This is what happened in the dead mines a while back. Things are different inside there now. So I found out I cannot solo the dead mines at level 10 for sure. What level do I have to be? None may challenge the Brotherhood. So that is Edwin Van Cleef. They're showing what happened to him in the past. He used to be a part of this game. Lapdogs always change. Fools! Our cause is righteous. The Brotherhood shall prevail. So he was defeated. He was defeated, and this is the vision where, this is the quest we're actually supposed to be on, folks. I made that way more difficult than I should have, but hey, like I said, it was fun. <laughs> Uh-oh, that's his daughter, Vanessa. She is kind of running things now since her father's demise. And, uh, yeah, I am out of here. I am done with this quest. That is a full-blown dungeon we will run later. Another time, another aspect of the game that we will explore at a later time. But for now, let's go turn in our quest. <laughs> I need some stronger stats. Uh oh I can't remember how to get out of here. Oh yeah, I gotta get back up there, that's right. How do I do that? Man. Maybe we'll use the ramp. Look, people, I don't want out of here. I got my butt kicked in here. Mostly out of panic. Could have fought through, healed myself, damaged him a little further. Is this the way out? I don't remember fighting none of these skeleton people. I'm going the wrong way. You know what? I am not happy about my loss. I am taking out these skeleton guys. Here, skeleton. I don't know why they put you in this game. I'm here. Since I'm here, might as well, you know. Nah, it ain't worth it. I ain't traveling through all that. There might be something in there, though, like a rare spawn, you reckon? It's not that big. We'll, we'll, we'll go clear it. That would be great if there's some kind of epic piece of gear I could get in here. <laughs>
lots of copper. I know if I ever got a plate where it'd be worth coming back here for. I wonder if there's anything else. Oh, there is. There's a mace. I can use that. I can use that. It's actually a pretty good upgrade over my hammer. I lose one agility for it, but yeah, I think that'll be worth collecting. Yes. Glad I come back here to fight these guys. It's worth it. Good reward for my effort and my death a while ago. These little guys are good to farm. Inventory's full. Right, I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna hearth and I'm just gonna fly back to where I need to be. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't care. Fly a good ways. Doesn't bother me. All right. So where am I? Oh, I'm in Stormwind. That's where my heart is set to. Well met. I go back to? I can't remember. I'm just glad to be out of those mines. Oh, I forgot they put my bone. While we're in flight, we'll just see what that's gonna look like on me. <laughs> it's actually a leg bone. <laughs> Skeletal leg bone. We gotta equip that a little while. Can we do that in flight? I don't know. It's actually more of an upgrade to... Let's upgrade either way. I do. <laughs> a 
leg bone. Look at there. Ain't that cool? it and that hammer back on there. There we go. Now we got a leg and a hammer. All right. Okay, so maybe this wasn't where I needed to be. Where am I? Where I need to go? Ooh, I need to go sell some stuff. Like, majorly bad. Which one of these is the, it's the blacksmith guy? Oh, here he is. Greetings. Let me, I, I need to get some stuff out of my bags. Oh, that's my bind on account here. Was these upgraded? I can't remember. Nope. Collected that appearance yet. Gone. 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 Make, make sure. We're not selling away any upgrades. yet okay we need to put these in our bank oh I'm up seven gold now all we'll sell for now. Well, we're selling this. That's just bag space taking it. Right. That should do us for a little while. So. Alright. Light bless you. Visions of the past. Where we need to go? That direction. Probably back to Sing's honor, friend. Probably back to Sentinel Hill. Wait a minute. Go with honor, friend. Where's the flight path, guy? Yeah. There we go. Good day to you. You know what? We'll just run. There. See you later. We'll just go the way the, the compass is pointing us to. <laughs> Second thought, we will fly. <laughs> Hello. See you around. Oh yeah, this is taking us most of the way there. Here we go. Oh yeah, that was a lot faster.
22 days. I'll check it again at some point. Greetings. I just got my bag space, okay? Be careful. Look, you don't know what I went through to complete this quest. I made a mistake. I went in the dungeon. Light bless you. Alright, so we'll uh, narrate this quest out and uh, we will call it a day here because this video is getting long and uh, I gotta put it together and put it out there. And uh, we will, in fact, we will just pick up from here when we come back. We will go. Uh, On that adventure on the next video all right folks that is all i have for this episode so stay tuned for the next one and until then you folks have a good one poor old rip snarl i gotta get you out of there buddy <laughs>